Today, I'm going to show you how you can get Excel for free, legally, and directly from Microsoft. No cracked copies could be full of malware. We'll look at the web version, which has some great features, including some we don't have in the desktop app, and options that might be available to you to get the desktop app for free. By the end of this video, you'll be set to start using Excel without spending a penny. In your web browser, go to excel.cloud.microsoft. It should take you to this Welcome to Excel for free on the web page. If you don't see this, just search for Free Excel Online. Let's take a look. It should be the first result here, Free Microsoft 365 Online Word Excel PowerPoint. Click on that. It takes you to this page here. Just scroll down and under Get Quality Microsoft 365 Apps for free, we've got Excel for the web and you can click on Go to Excel and it will take you to that same page. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is sign in. If you already have a Microsoft account, like an Outlook or Hotmail email address, you can sign in with that. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one here and you can use any existing email address you already have, or you can get a new Microsoft email address. Once you've signed in and verified your account, you're ready to start using Excel. So you can create a new blank workbook. I've got one I've already created, so I'm going to open that one again. The interface is similar to the desktop version and you can use all the standard Excel features, including formulas, inserting pivot tables and charts, conditional formatting and more. Notice the ribbon here is in the new compact single line layout, but you can change it by the drop down here to show the classic ribbon you're familiar with from the desktop version. Your Microsoft account comes with a free OneDrive account where your files are automatically saved. We can see that here. Plus, you have access to other Office apps like Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, and more, which is pretty cool. Once you're signed into Microsoft, you can quickly create a new workbook simply typing in excel.new, press enter, and this opens a new file ready to go and automatically saves it to OneDrive. While Excel for the web initially lacked features from the desktop app, it's now much closer in functionality and new features are being added every month which means by using Excel for the web, you're among the first to try out Excel's latest tools and improvements. In fact, there are some new features in Excel for the web that we're still waiting for in the desktop version. For example, the formula authoring experience in Excel for the web is more user-friendly, especially for beginners. You can see here the tooltip is much more comprehensive with a description and list of the arguments and what they mean. You can also click the link at the bottom to learn more about the function. Of course, if you're familiar with the function, you can collapse this box to just show the regular tooltip that we're used to. You can also left click and drag to move it out of the way, or you can click the X to collapse it all together. And if you want to bring it back, click the icon here and expand it as required. So as I start to type in the formula arguments, it moves through the argument list, highlighting the next step I'm up to. So here I want the lookup array, which is my product column. And then I'm on the return array, which is the category. Close parentheses on XLOOKUP, press enter, and it returns the results as you'd expect. Another nice feature of Excel Online is the ease of moving and inserting rows and columns. To move a row or column, place your cursor to the left of the row number. My cursor changes to a hand. I can left click and drag. And as I drag it, I get a little tooltip telling me where it's going to insert the row. If I want to replace the data, it tells me to hold down shift and you can see it's now going to replace row eight. Let's insert instead, release, and it rearranges them. And it works the same for columns. Now to insert a new row or column, move your mouse above the dot until it changes to a plus. This will insert a column to the right. Equally, I can insert a column to the left by moving my mouse to the left dot until it changes to a plus. And now I have a column to the left and to the right. You can also insert multiple by first selecting the number of rows or columns you want to insert, then click the plus, and now it's inserted three. Another nice feature is the ability to freeze panes by hovering your mouse above the row label for row one and left clicking and dragging. We get the blue indicator as to where it's going to freeze the panes. Release, you can see the frozen pane, and as I scroll, we get the effect. We can also move the frozen pane by left clicking and dragging, and likewise for freezing columns. By the way, if you're serious about leveling up in Excel, 
cutting down on hours of manual work, and finally mastering those time-saving techniques. Check out my Excel courses. They're packed with practical tips and advanced strategies that can make Excel work for you. And it comes with support and mentoring from me personally. You can find a link in the video description and pinned comment. Even though Excel for the web offers a lot of great features for free, there are some limitations to keep in mind. Unlike the desktop app, Excel Online depends entirely on an internet connection. Not all file formats are supported in the web version, which might limit certain workflows. And while Excel Online covers the basics well, it doesn't include some advanced features like Power Query, Power Pivot, Macros and VBA, which are essential for complex tasks and automation. It also has limits on file size, which varies depending on your license of between 30 and 100 megabytes. If these restrictions are unworkable, you can download the desktop app for free if you're a student or a teacher and your school has an education license. Search for Office 365 Education. The first result should be Office 365 Education and it should take you to this page where you can get started by signing in with your school email address. Now, if you have any problems here, you'd need to reach out to your school or university for support. One other option available to Visual Studio professional or enterprise subscribers is a free Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription. It's designed to be used for development, but it has all the functionality of a regular subscription, so you can use it for work too. Your subscription renews as long as you're actively using it. Now that you're all set to use Excel, you'll want to make sure you avoid the mistake I see nearly every Excel user make when storing data in Excel. Because when you get this wrong, it makes writing formulas and creating pivot tables way more difficult, if not impossible. So check out this video next, where I show you the correct way to store data in Excel for an easy life. I'll see you there.